Yes, people, welcome back to Niall's Thoughts on Let's Talk Premier League. Today, we're going to be talking about Liverpool and did they cheat to get the Arsenal game called off? A story in The Athletic from Simon Hughes said Liverpool originally returned negative COVID tests, then ordered extra ones that weren't required. Uh, they turned up positive, so the Arsenal game got called off. Um, the tests were faulty, though. Uh, that was not made public at first. Uh, there's also uh, an accusation that um, the the guy at the EFL worked for Liverpool for 12 years, which isn't actually an accusation. It's actually fact. Um, this story is is disturbing, I think, to 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 most people that are shall we say neutral neutral to the the whole thing i mean plymouth argyle are not in the carabao cup semi-final we, it wasn't against our team so i have no real uh real connection to this apart from someone who wants the integrity of the english league um and an english football kept to uh to a high degree just like i i accused uh arsenal uh of you know sort of not falsifying anything but but getting games called off when they could have played it. Um, and this story does does concern me. Now, Jürgen has spoken a lot about journalists and especially journalists from The Athletic um, regarding the stories they wrote. So this is all just, you know, uh, from, from one source, The Athletic, um, who obviously do claim to have sources from inside the club. Um, I think these stories have to be taken at face value to start with. Obviously, a club like Liverpool will have uh, an opportunity to respond um, should should it should it be needed. But I also think we need to investigate this. Uh, and when I say we, I don't mean my YouTube channel, of course. I mean the FA, the EFL, the Premier League need to, to, to investigate all cases, not just Liverpool, not just Arsenal. But I think the FA, the Premier League and the EFL need to investigate every single case um, of a game that gets called off. I think you need to investigate every single one of them. And it's going to take a long time. Of course, it will take a long time. But we need to make sure that these are are dealt with in, in, in the best possible way and that we actually get the right outcome. Because if it is true that Liverpool did this, and you know they weren't uh, needed and you know obviously we know only trent returned a positive covid test um then i think some sort of punishment should be handed out whether that be kicked out of the competition whether that be a, a, a humongous fine whether that be heads roll i mean something does need to be done if and i say if if it comes out that Liverpool did in fact cheat, um, or, or, cheat is such a harsh word, but you know I can't really think of any other words to to call it. It's it, it would be blatant cheating. It would be flat out cheating if this were to be true. So you know I think we do need to to, to take it uh, one step at a time. Um, this story from the Athletic is, as I say, concerning, disturbing. Uh, for the integrity within the English game that I think is being questioned at the moment. Um, you know, could Arsenal have played the North London derby? Absolutely. Should they have been made to play the North London derby? I feel yes. I think they didn't have enough uh, of a, a reason. They had loaned players out before. Say, um, uh, Ainsley Maitland-Niles, they've obviously now got rid of Kolasinac and Pablo Mari after the game. They could have played that game for me. Um, so it is concerning. Um, it's also concerning that Arsenal uh, are being investigated uh, or, or, or a specific instance for a yellow card. So I think the FA needs to step in very quickly and investigate. That's all I, all I'm, all I really think at the moment is that there should be an investigation. It should be held. It should be necessary to have a full investigation on this as well as the Arsenal yellow cards, because obviously we don't want corruption within our game. We hear about it in other leagues, you know, Italy, Germany. We do hear about the corruption and, and, and the integrity of their games being brought into disrepute. I don't want that for the English game. I, I think we should pride ourselves on being better than that. Um, and, and everyone should get a fair chance. Now, 
this I, I'm I'm also a firm believer in innocent until proven guilty, which is which is the way we do our criminal system over here. Liverpool are innocent until they are proven guilty, or if they are proven guilty, just like the Arsenal player who got booked and that's being investigated for the betting scandal. Um, they are also innocent until proven guilty. That that should always be the case because we don't want to, um, you know, uh, judge people and 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 have names tarnished before the the right steps have been brought into place. But I think it is it is clear that we are going to need to um, have an investigation because if this were to be true. That's totally unacceptable. The, the other accusations, and these are, of course, only accusations. They change companies where they normally get their tests from. Apparently, Kenny Dalglish's daughter works for the new company that they went to. That is deeply con concerning, deeply concerning. Now, it could just be coincidental. I'm not saying it's not. But these sorts of things do need to be looked at, and they need to be looked at very carefully. Um, and judgments need to be made. And I think both of these teams in different competitions, might I add, Arsenal in the Premier League and and, and uh, Liverpool in the Carabao Cup, both of them have answers that both of them have questions that need answering. You know, I think they do. I think we need to to get an investigation going. I think we need to find out the air, uh, the 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 uh, the truth in these articles. And if there is no truth in these articles. The Athletic need to come out and issue a full-blown apology to Liverpool because the article they have wrote is um, very, very damning. It, in my opinion, tarnishes Liverpool's name. Um, and that does need to be looked at very, very, very carefully. It does need to be very careful. Um, the Athletic obviously also said they know the person who was or is involved in the yellow card scandal uh, for the betting, they've kept that private which i actually think is is the right thing to do but was this story needed um uh, in terms of liverpool i'm not 100 percent sure could these have been brought to the efl's attention and, and ultimately the efl a, a a company that i have uh publicly criticized on more than one occasion they now need to step up they do they need to step up for the integrity of the carabao cup for the efl and the every single one of its clubs to enter the um the EFL Cup and of course the 20 that come from the Premier League to enter the EFL Cup so it's a big time for the EFL they need to be proactive it needs to be an independent investigation no connections of course you know I'm not I'm not expecting Jurgen Klopp that 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 would be like asking a murderer to go and investigate his own um his own uh, case right you just oh, that wouldn't be the right way to do it so and I'm not accusing Liverpool and, and and I'm just using that as an example but Liverpool do need to, to, to this needs to be investigated as does the Arsenal case it needs to be an independent investigation that has no connections to either club um, this is a very a very difficult story uh, that's coming out as I say we don't want I hope it not to be true. I hope it not to be true because I'm one for integrity uh, and, and, and and wish that the English game could have some sort of integrity left in it. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, and if you are new to the channel and you do like these sorts of uh, these sorts of uh, videos, then please do hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. Uh, but until next time, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, peace out.